Today we're focusing on scale drawings and scale models. And we're going to start out with this uh, model. And uh, we have a model here of a dolphin. The real life dolphin is about 260 centimeters long. And someone made a model of it that's only 13 uh, centimeters long. So our task for this one would be to identify the scale factor. Meaning that for how many, for e each inch, or each centimeter, I should say, each centimeter on this model represents how many centimeters in a real life dolphin. And usually they try to do a nice even one for your, for your problems here. So if our dolphin is 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters long, and your dolphin, the real life one, is 260, you're going to write this kind of proportion here, just like you've done before with proportion. So you have for every 13, you have 260 centimeters long. So we want to make this as simple as possible. We could simplify this fraction here. And uh, if you uh, need any help with this one, this one, 13 would go into 260 a nice even amount of times. You can divide them both by 13, in other words. So divided by 13, divide by 13. 13 divided by 13 would equal 1. Uh, 260 divided by 13 would go into it uh, so 2 times 13 is 26 so that's 0 13 would go into 260 20 times so we'd have 1 over 20 okay so for every 1 centimeter we have on this model we have 20 centimeters in a real life one. Okay, so you basically divide the 260 by 20, and that gives you the 13 centimeters that this model would be, the length of that model. So our scale factor, 1 over 20. If you want to be specific, you would say 1 centimeter over 20 centimeters, as you're going to see with our next problem. So for this next one, it says on a scale drawing, a school here is 1.4 inches tall. The scale factor is one inch to every 22 feet. Okay, so find the height of the school. So for every 1.1 inch here, it's going to be 22 feet, and this is 1.4 inches. So how are we going to solve that for feet? And you can just write this as a proportion problem again. We have one inch with 22 feet, and that's going to equal 1.4. And how many feet? Okay, let's make that an X. Okay, let's cross that out. So we'll make that a variable. So we have 1 over 22 equals 1.4 over X. And then whatever X is, that's going to be how tall this school is. Okay, and then we could cross multiply, right? 1 times X would be X. X would equal 22 times 1.4. Okay, so if we're going to solve that, 22 times 1.4, 4 times 2 is 8. These are just terrible drawings right now, sorry. 4 times 2 is 8 again. Cross off that 4. And then 1 times 22 would be 22. We're going to add those. 8, 10, Carry the one, it'd be three. Okay, and then we're gonna count the decimals in the problem, just one, right? So we're gonna count from the right, one spot for the decimal. So then your school would be 30.8 feet tall. So your answer is going to be 30.8 feet. So watch out for a common error with this one. Remember we were converting inches into feet. So your answer can't be 30.8 inches. That'd be a very, very short school. So it says 22 feet here. So that means we have to convert that into feet, and which is what we did. 30.8 feet would be the height of the school. Okay. Most of the problems in your book are going to be very similar to this. So if you need any help, just uh, rewatch this video or just ask when you get to class.